but that hurt. They got this uh, thing they've been talking about. Well, they talked about it some years ago. It's still called swine flu and bird flu. Now, I love the fact that the description, the symptoms of bird flu, sounds to me like a common cold. You know, uh, chills, fevers, runny nose, stop that nose, you know, body aches, um, scratchy throat, sore throat. That's the same stuff you get with a common cold. I've had I've had the common cold before. Everybody has the common cold before. And we've all had those same symptoms. But we don't go, oh my god, it's bird flu. Oh my god, it's you know, swine flu. Oh my god, I need to be vaccinated. No. This is the f to me, this is the funniest case of mass hysteria. Because they describe this new illness, this flu, let's say swine flu, for example. They say, well, this illness, this is uh, new, and it'll make you sick, horribly sick. It'll give you, you know, the same symptoms as the, as a cold. It's the same flu. But what would they tell you? Well, it's different. Of course, it's different. It's different because you gave it a different name. So what they what they tell you to do when you have it? Go out. Go to your doctor and get vaccinated. Get something that you don't even know. Check it into your skin. Guess what? They don't just say you may need to be, you know, injected with this stuff. No, vaccinated. They say everyone, and they pinpoint children who get dragged out by their parents, believing that's what they need. Because you know, parents mm -hmm, can get kind of mm -hmm, about some things. The second one, they say old people. Now, old people, some of them live in nursing homes, some of them go to doctors a lot. So it's a perfect example of grandma, little junior. But they tell people they need they need that. No, you need you need chicken soup and you need orange juice. If you get a common cold, you need that. And they tell people to do that. But here's the funny part that always I always laugh when I hear people freaking out about this they don't give the right amount in other words if you go to your doctor and you get your little swine flu shot swine prevention shot they don't give enough they always run out of stock so like Black Friday when they run out of weeds, you know. And so you're up there and people be you know, people would panic. People go, Oh my god, there's this deadly virus like donut of dead and I I gotta have the cure all. I gotta have this medicine that'll help me, prevent me from being sick. And they'll take that. They'll inject something, they don't even know what the hell it is. They don't get it. Right into the bloodstream. Because the media, the government, the NWO people, they tell them to take that stuff. And they believe it. Now, when, I think it was bird flu or swan flu, the last flu that came out, somebody, I was talking about it before, and I just say, you know, it's a joke. Seriously, bird flu, swan flu, whatever that flu was, I said it does not exist. They just trying to create an epidemic to get people to get injected with God knows what. 
be honest with you. And I said that, and there was three people in the chat room got mad at me. Are you kidding? My uncle has the swine flu. I think I'm coming down with the swine flu. My cousin's in the hospital with the swine flu. No, he isn't. No, they aren't. No, you ain't. I asked him, I said, well, then, what sort of symptoms you have? They're like, well, my nose is running. I must have the swine flu. Or it could be an allergic rate. Uh, allergic allergy, I mean, you know, allergic to something. I said it could be pollen. You know, it was in the springtime. I said pollen. I say, you know, she's a teacher. I said you work around kindergartners. <laughs> and I said people come down with the cold all the time. This is not like you were healthy your whole life and then suddenly out of nowhere, <laughs> oh man, I got cold. I got that swine flu now. And suddenly every everybody swears that somebody in their family has it. You know, cover up your mouth when you cough, which is something we're taught as kids. But you don't just go <coughs> like that. You gotta wear a little mask. Go like, <coughs> it's ridiculous. And people believe what CNN, what Fox News Network, they believe that there's this new illness out. This illness that sounds like all the other illnesses that we've had for hundreds and hundreds of years. That we've survived without being in chat that would stuff. I mean, you know, ask your grandma, ask people in their 60s. When they had a runny nose, or when they had a sore throat, particularly during the spring or during, you know, wintertime, tell them what did they do? What did their parents do? Castor oil. Cast, yeah, castor oil. Aspirin. And I ate some vegetables. That's, that's what old people do. I mean, they've been orange juice. Get in, saw that from you know, chicken soup. Mm. But you can't make millions off chicken soup. And you can't create a pandemic off orange juice. Mm. So next time there's this flu that comes out, listen to the symptoms. It just, if they give you 20 symptoms and five of them sound like the common cold, don't believe the hype. Just say, all right, well, there's something going around. I'm going to buy some orange juice and have some chicken soup. Get some vitamin C in me. That's all you need. Yeah. I've never had, uh, what are those shots they tell you? Um, you know, the flu vaccine. It Doctors I tell you all the time, get you want a flu vaccine. No, I don't want one. Why not? Because I get sick once every about four or five years. And the reason is one, I don't take the flu shot, because what's the point of the flu shot if it makes you sick? And two, I take care of myself. I eat my vegetables. I'm big, but I eat my vegetables. I eat I drink my orange juice, I eat my citrus, I eat my soups whenever I feel like it, you know. I take care of myself. I don't get stuff injected into my system. I don't take pills because the doctor says I need more of this or I need more of that. You know, I, I take care of myself. And I don't believe the hop and I'm not going to believe this organization telling me that there's a new illness out and I gotta take care of it. So anyway, I'm getting about 10 minutes into this. So, uh, just take care of yourself. Don't believe the hype, right?